welcome back to the stream. This is day three or four. I'll play this four. Uh, three fall. Do I have the time to return and see those dear to me? Constantine, how are you feeling? Death is on my doorstep, and all hope has flown through the window. Come closer. What ill tidings do you bring? Yes. I thought you might want to know more concerning the, uh, events that have taken place. The attempted coup d'etat of the traitors? Yes. I am eager to hear what has transpired within these very walls. When I think of the cold-blooded face of that treacherous Kurt, you showed exemplary true courage. 
Not only have you looked out for me, like always, but you have protected my advisors. And saved our city and our mother cardinal. An immense service that we shall never forget. She has asked me to relay to you her most profound gratitude. <sighs> to me? How very nice of her. I imagine that you know that Hikmet had less luck. She flies the banners of the Coin Guard as we speak. Most of the scholars were massacred, but their governor has sought refuge here. This treacherous commander must be celebrating at least his partial success. But his victory will be for a short time. He must be stupid to have thought that the nations of the continents will let him trade with them and won't cut him off. I wish him luck in finding a port that will welcome him. And you were able to catch his lieutenants. The squires will pay for the crimes of their masters. As happens too often. It is hard to swallow that Kurt betrayed us. We've known him for such a long time. To think that he trained both of us, drumming into us, fight with honor. How tragically ironic. You were able to turn that to our advantage. That little phrase is what saved our lives. As to why he betrayed us, he has taken that with him to the tomb. Fortunately, the entire guard did not follow his example. Many have remained loyal. What do you plan on doing to them? How can we give them our complete trust? We cannot. But we cannot do without soldiers, either. We shall have them pledge allegiance to the Congregation of Merchants. And I shall name a trustworthy intendant to keep them in line. Nothing more can be done. Before you leave, I must ask you something. All right. I'm listening. I'm always suffering, cousin. I'm in such terrible pain and we're yet to discover a cure. I'm sorry. I fully intend to continue my research. We have a number of leads, but with all that's been happening... Don't blame yourself. I know how much you do for me. Yet... I'm afraid that before the sickness claims me, the pain will have driven me mad. <sighs> if only there was a way to ease my suffering. I know of a healer with powers that are legendary amongst the clans. It is rumored he can alleviate even the most terrible pains. His village is west of the city. I could take you there. One of our holy men lives in San Mateus. His healing powers are supposedly miraculous. Alas. It is a miracle we are in need of, my son. I'm nothing more than a sailor. I don't have much to offer when it comes to healing. As it would seem to lay me a prey for the Malachor, just like the Bridge Alliance, perhaps it would be best to ask for aid from those not suffering from the plague. Thank you, as always, for your advice. Cousin, you are the only one I trust, so please, don't let me lose my mind. I'll follow the leads and find a way. I won't let you down. Hold on. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Uh, is that a side mission? No, it's not a side mission. Okay. Let's do. Let's do this one. I'm gonna kill her before anything happens, really.
Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is an Alma Naui. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desarde. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Don Egad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual, but my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladnid? Are you not a Don Egad as well? It is true. 
But my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. And you travel with a mind shaker. Strange trio. I am Bishop Petrus, but I am not a mind shaker. A missionary. Why, pray tell, are you asking? There are people wearing the same insignia that pass their time troubling the minds of my people. Missionaries? I was not aware. I'm only here to accompany my friend, I assure you. He is not a bad man, Donegad, even if his beliefs are foreign and strange. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malachor. I do not know this sickness. But perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. But the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlen started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks.
that work? Excuse me, are you Cecilius, the famous healer? I am a healer only through the grace of the Illuminated. What can I do for you, my child? My cousin, the governor of New Serene, is in dreadful pain. Well, that's terribly sad. Was he wounded in combat? Was it during the Coin Guard's rebellion? Alas, no. He is afflicted with the Malachor, and his days are numbered. We're looking for a cure, but... Now that's a true miracle that you require. And I fear that they're extremely rare in these pagan lands. Cecilius, my friend. If there's anyone on this island capable of helping the governor, it is you. Have you not been blessed by the Illuminated? Is it not your obligation to aid our allies? Without them, who knows what would have happened to our holy city during the plot? Petrus... You always knew how to weave words to get what you want. Very good. I'll go to New Serene and try to ease the governor's pain. But do not feed on vain hopes. There are trials that we must accept to undertake with humility. A thousand thanks, Cecilius. May the Illuminated go with you, my child. There is no miracle that he cannot accomplish. I will pray that you find this cure that we need so desperately. I have not lost hope. Cecilius is an extraordinary healer. I'm certain he'll be able to at least alleviate Constantine's pain. I do not know your magic very well. But if it's so powerful, why would you have to come here to look for an antidote? All I'm hoping for is that he will manage to give my cousin some time and some respite while we look for an antidote.
be a lot easier than before. My mother told me about this place. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the sons. How could their chief accept this? All that's left to do is to find Father Eustinius. There's black right here. So I have to go all the way around. Okay. 
are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burd tir du mud, Renaixe. Oi and the Donegad, yes. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet to reject any answers. Questions have no value when one already claims but... it is your case. You believe you know the answer. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your... That is not what I... Qua awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Dear to mad, on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect. All that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your clan? My people are proud, full of courage and tough. That which destroys others makes us stronger. Many of them fear us, even amongst the other clans, because the fury of the storm warriors is a story often told. But when we are not fighting, we are peaceful people, and we are happy guarding over our sacred woods. Anything more? Concerning this story about... Enough! Enough, Quet! Okay. I'm halfway through level 15. Oh, 
Can't you leave us alone, Monisanai? Traitor. And an Olmenawe does not wear the dress of this thing. Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and brave. Ernaik se ya toigan quahesa de elodes. Summer mila. Machte wega. Beer to Madre Naikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serim, a grand city on the continent of Gekain. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh. I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong, but I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donega. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. Let's try something else. Are you on Olmenawi with your land, or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. The Moine Shakers came here to our home and tried to convince us to abandon our ways. No one wanted to listen to them, so they finally decided to leave. I suppose that they were full of disappointment, or angry, or simply tired. And then the others arrived. The woman is truly strange. She is aggressive and spies on us at every turn. I would prefer that she lives as well. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light. She did not want to play. You have a strange stare, and I say, leave me alone. Leave me be. Can't you leave us alone? Traitor. And an Olmenawe does not wear the dress of the status. Okay, how about you? Birtir to Mad, an Almanawi. What do you want? Tell me about the missionaries that came here, those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong, said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods or cross paths with wild beasts. This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A... demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. You're different from the others. What is your role in the village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. 
You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the... Our beliefs. We believe in the rain, in the beast. I do not know. I must leave now. Thank you. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pots, that would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast and it will only work once. some dark creature. This is just a mask they wear in battle to intimidate their enemies. Nothing more. This altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. The man that worships a magic lamp speaks of being naive. Oh, how it is charming. Siora, I am sorry. What I really wanted to say was that... Leave it, old man. I know exactly what it is you wanted to say. This painting is frightening. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Aphesia. Did you learn anything? No, nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the Enlightened. 
To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village, and I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes, but you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help, and good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Uh, what stream? I am streaming a uh, grease ball on the next class series. Oh, welcome, welcome. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. My child, it's time to wake up. Our nervous friend is here. Who? Where? Holy crap, he's going fast. Where could our man have gone? He must have gone through this door made out of roots. This is exciting. What's happening? You are so pale. Did the lightning struck tree speak to you? In a way. I, I saw many images. They were so real. As if I was the tree itself. Do tell. This vision is surely the key to the portal. I was this tree. And my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that... They hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. 
life left me. All was calm and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel. And the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. Um, uh, I'm not really talking that much. It's just an RPG. Really, it story. The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the Earth. This stone bears the image of a storm. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. Here this looks like a snowflake. This stone is blackened. This stone has an image of the moon. On this stone, the sun is visible. This drawing looks like an infant. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the earth. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Okay, so... This stone bears the image of a storm. Or perhaps the wind. Uh, the drawing on this stone represents lightning. Maybe that one. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe I'm lightning contact me in this battle! May the shadow engulf our enemies! Tell us again exactly what you saw, my child. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike. And pierced me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel. And the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. So, it is branch. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. Not lightning. The drawing on this stone makes me th I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe I'm protecting in the chapel. May the shadow engulf our enemy! So this tree branch. Yeah. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe I can protect me in this
I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Yeah. May the enlightened protect yeah. me in this battle! Yeah. Yeah. May yeah. the shadow engulf yeah. our enemies! Alright, so three branch. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. I already lit this candle. Oh. You did it right. By awakening these stones in the right order, the door of Just like Los Duis, a react nest, Diri. Clois de Raman Adres Gideon, a renta. As far no fradi, Damagengadan, Yadiga la Dandian. As far no fradi, thou a Gashidon. As far no fradi, thou a Gremos and What a strange ritual. I have never seen anything like it. The rituals of my village are not quite as scary. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Denegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. The ritual. I've never seen anything like it. I hoped you'd be able to explain what they were trying to achieve. As you can see, my companion is not a Renaigse like the others. He bears our likeness. Please share your knowledge with us. Grant us the chance to understand. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. 
The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Ranoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion, but if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come, though what you will hear may not be to your liking. Join the stream. Um, hope you enjoy. Uh, I am playing Revolves on Xbox Series X. Alright, welcome, welcome to the stream. Good point. Amazing. If you have any questions or want to talk, I'm here to talk. Maybe I should go for uh There we go. Attribute. I am going to go for endurance to I believe I said last time.
Drink four and oh, that's real. That's not that good. That Never you Oh no. I'll save it up. Killer three. Oh that's a lot better than my 
two-handed. It's a long blade. Accuracy three. Okay, purchase. Um I'll take this. Better armor and a better sword. Any better, better armor.
tree, I can't go. Thank you. 